So yeah, I hope you don't mind. I just thought this would be worth recording as it's just such a good way to show how somebody can use their device uh, to create spontaneous novel utterances. We call it snug, but just be able to talk and have a chat. So where were we? We're talking about, is it lockdown? The car. Oh, the car. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. So, you, did you get the car? Yes. It's sitting in the drive. It's sitting in the drive. Have you not put many miles on it? I suppose you can't, can you? The boy has bring it. it up. The boy has bringing it up. Has he? Okay. So can you get your wheelchair in the back of it? Can you drive into the back of it? Yes. Brilliant. Oh, that's not, because you couldn't do that before. No. So what are your plans then? Have you got any, any journeys planned? Missus, once to see her boy. The missus wants to see her boy. Right, okay, fair enough. But it, then at least it's much easier for you to go out. What would happen before if you wanted to go out? How would that work? My wife had to put me in the car. My wife had to put me in the car. And then put the wheelchair in. Wow. Oh, that's going to make such a difference. That's amazing. I forgot what colour you had. Is it grey? Metallic. Metallic grey. I bet you chose the colour. Go on, why did you choose? Did you? Why did you choose the colour? What was it? Most <laughs> cars I have seen like that. Where? Silver. Or white. Or black. Most cars I have seen like that were silver or white or black. Absolutely, yeah. I think if it was white, it would probably look like a delivery driver. <laughs> you can do a bit of curry. I don't want just normal. I don't want just normal. 
No, no, absolutely not. Hey, listen, I really appreciate you letting me record this. Just um, before I end the recording, um, just remind me, you're using a symbol-based system, aren't you, as opposed to spelling? Is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so you're using like a, a min-speak. It's word strategy, isn't it, you're using? Yes. Yeah, which is the sort of the, the older version of of unity but you've i mean you've used it for years i mean ever since i've known you and well before probably over 30 over 30. wow wow mm -hmm. i suppose it's just second nature to you now you're just so quick with it and i don't mean that in a patronizing way i know if you were talking to somebody you wouldn't be amazed by how they're talking verbally but I mean, it's so great that we can have conversations like this. And um, I think it probably helps us with our friendship as well, which is great. I couldn't lie. The way I do. I couldn't live the way I do. Really, it makes I suppose it makes the difference that frustration with I, it, I couldn't live the way I do without it. I think what I like is the fact that we can just chat and you don't know what's coming up. You see lots of people who are using systems that are typically pre stored sentences, and, and that's mm -hmm. frustrating because you never know what I'm going to ask you. So if I ask you where all your hair's gone and what's happened to it, and what's that funny grey colour I can see in it? <laughs> you can tell me how you really feel. <laughs> that is... Cold. Awake. That is called awake. Mm -hmm. well, I've got no excuse. Mine's just called old age. Hey, thanks, David. It's been good to catch up with you. Cheers. Okay. Speak to you soon. Bye.